Um, so basically this training is about Billy Goating. Uh, you might have heard it re if you were as a training for the movement that Helena did. Um, it was referenced then. And he showed us a quick little way to get into a tower. Uh, we'll, we'll, we will be going over that as well. Uh, but we're going to start off at uh, Squad Way. And that's going to be at the triple stack. So Billy Goating, it's a way to enter different uh, areas without using your traditional methods like a doorway, a window, or other things. Um, and it can be achieved very simply by moving forward and jumping onto the surface of uh, that. You can just drop this outside, drop, drop, drop. And basically, you could uh, uh, do it by moving forward and jumping onto the surface and then making your way up, all the way up by double jumping. So once you're on the surface, this is just a bad example because there's a crate already here. But um, just like Muffin just did, basically, you just uh, double jump onto the wall and you'll be able to do it. So this is your traditional triple stack that we've covered in the building layout uh, training. Um, and basically that's what I was referring to when you want to billy goat up the back. So this is always an, a great alternative method, uh, to get into the triple stack. As you know, sometimes coming in through the roof might be command, too command, well covered. Command. The TR um, is doing the, the same shit they did in the last fucking alert and dropping two platoons of two rep per hour. So, um, having this, uh, back balcony is always uh, nice when, when you can achieve it. Just stop fighting them. They'll fight. They might, might work They'll circle jerk each other. And get AIDS and die. Sorry, just command chats being a little loud. I had to turn them down a little bit. And confirm their AIDS. I'm going to find add something here, Hydra. Sure, go right ahead. I have the most luck when I'm doing this on the sides, not the middle. If you guys see where I'm shooting here on the side and one on the, the far side to the left, that for some reason that surface seems to work better for me. Is it okay if you invite me? Because I also got a squad. Yeah, it worked. That did work out rather, rather nice. Rather easy, too. So just know that if you're breaching the triple stack and you have uh, you have an opportunity to uh, so to run a squad up the backside, isn't, it's not only fun, but you might be able to teach somebody and give them a little bit more exposure to Billy Goating to possibly implement that more and more in the coming weeks and months and whatnot of running squads and being in squads. Ammunition here. So everyone gets to practice it. It's pretty cool. Um, next thing, let's load back up on our uh, galaxy that is to the southeast. And that way I can go to my other monitor and scroll down. East. Oh, there was also a, a balcony window at the triple stack. Um, yeah, that where that where the right gun of the galaxy is shooting. You can do the same thing and just jump onto the back uh, balcony and then sidestep over to the left side of that. I'll run back over there since everybody was already out. I'll make my way back over there. <laughs> but basically, you could uh, double jump and get up to that balcony window. Yeah, you still have to use the balcony side to do the jump, though. Yeah, correct. But instead of going onto the balcony, just run along the outside of the balcony. Oh, I thought you meant you can go up that wall. And then you can just camp out this spot over here and be a nuisance to whoever's inside. Get lots of kills. The principle of spamming jump and using port momentum still applies when you're trying to build really yes. it up. And that is essentially what Billy Goating is, using your forward momentum in a double jump fashion so that you could actually get to a higher level, Take some ammunition. altitude wise. All right, so that covers the triple stack and we'll go to a normal tower now, I believe. Yep, we're going to a standard tower. Great. Now you guys, uh, if you hear, if you were here for uh, Helena's movement training, You'll uh, remember that we did this. Uh, there. Question while you're moving. Go ahead, shoot. There's been um, videos of YouTubers basically jumping off flat walls. 
those heavies, not a lot of salt. Oh, yeah, certain there's... buildings, certain places. Like jumping straight up vertical walls, like to, to a roof or something. That has to do a little bit more with the surface. In some surfaces, for some reason, it's not uniform throughout the whole game, but you're able to go up maybe perhaps over uh, a fenced-in courtyard like at um, Indar at uh, Briggs. You'll be able to go over that wall on the northern side. Actually, is that available right now? There was a rumor that if you have a high DPS or high high frame rate, you're basically a lot easier to do that. I don't know. No, I don't know why. I don't know the explanation of why. But... Okay. Well, let's take a quick flyover squad way. If it's too contested, we'll keep on flying. Just go in a northern direction, and I'll find another spot. Just stay alive till then. But let's go ahead and check over there, because there is a wall that you could actually double jump, Billy Goat over the fence and that could uh, sometimes uh, be a lot quicker than running in through the traditional doorway at Briggs on the north coming in from the northern side this isn't in my in my write-up but since we're so close by and it's technically open we should have the pop that it shouldn't make a difference if I drop us in there or not hopefully so on frame rate on frame rates my understanding is there's a frame rate floor to be able to do it at all which is roughly 60. And then the higher it is up to like high hundreds, the easier it gets. But you can do it at 60. It just gets a lot easier the higher you go. I saw an enemy vehicle. And if you look down, you have more FPS. There are armored vehicles southeast. I All right, let's not go here. Body. Let's uh, go somewhere else. Head north. There's another at Camp enemy Watterson. Just find a normal tower. Um, that's all we need right now. Um, looking. Diamonds. Diamonds, there you go. All right. No, no, that's a watchtower. I, I need a normal tower outside courtyard type tower. Oh. Like the Wait. ones at Warpgate? Yeah, go back to Warpgate. That might be the easiest way. There's Mouse Southwest has Squad, four towers. Squad those are the ones you want. Oh, yeah, you can go Mouse Southwest. Here, uh, new squad, uh, make a left. And drop us on the outside. So this is basically what we did in the movement training with Elena a few weeks back. And basically it's just a quick way to get into the tower without going through the stairs and dropping it through the roof. Everybody out. And if you remember, uh, the quick way was to just jump on the back, move over to this little arm brace. From the arm brace, you're going to take uh, just take, take a step back and then just double jump uh, once you get on this little arm this little brace, leg brace. And it's I actually got the... To... Get into the brace. Yeah, I'm actually really happy that I got that all in one take from a... <laughs> you know, I was recording. <laughs> that will not be edited. So basically, uh, we already ran you through this, but it, I just wanted to refresh everybody's memory. And also, if you just had a difficult time that time, maybe on this tower that we're live in the field... Yeah, you'll get a different feel for it. It might be a little bit easier, hopefully. So, we'll see. But I'll give you guys a minute to do that. Caution, there's an active AA turret here that's hacked. For the gal. We can take care of that. I find it easiest when I'm yeah. walking up the vertical the vertical bits that are white to take that out of walk and let your your jump um, decay or whatever they call it just recover. fatigue yeah fatigue that's what I was going for there you go all right so we'll give you guys another 10 seconds but we're going to be moving out the galaxy is to your northeast next stop is going to be squad way tech line. and today's training is just uh, this, this is basically what it is i'm just going to show you different spots and uh, just kind of run you through it and I am going to keep an eye on Briggs because I would like to give you a shot at looking at that northern wall. But we can't do it quite yet. So we're going to do the tech plant next. Squad way. And drop us right on ground level. Drop, drop, drop. All right. Thank you. Let's be quiet. Let him record. Okay, so the, uh, we I, I used to call this uh, building the smokestack. 
just because it had a basically a, it looks like a big giant smoke back anyway you could double jump up on here and make your way all the way up to uh, basically a level that's high enough to get onto the roof of the building and you just basically go right up by the ladder and then once you can just move over to the, to the building itself Sorry. I do believe had an open mic. If we had any NSO here, they would be kind of blocking us. So just keep that in mind. If you're walking next to NSO, you do bump into them. So this is a smokestack. You could actually get higher. You get get down to this uh, other level uh, where Muffet's, uh, Muffin's trying to get up to. Basically, the secret to that is you see the on the side of this uh, chimney or the smokestack, basically. There's a pattern that's uh, kind of on the side. It looks like ladder uh, ladder rungs. Just go up that thing. And once you actually have to cap, then you have to sidestep that pipe up there. And once you sidestep the pipe, you'll be able to get onto the top of the cylindrical pipes leading out of the smokestack where Muffin's trying to get to. Or you can just do it that way. And once you get up there, what's the Helena's up there, then you have access to uh, basically move over to this side from a greater altitude and just provide greater fire and greater... Uh, Greater, what you call it? I can't think of it. So it looks like you have to be about like a 45 degree angle to the surface. Can't be flat to it. Yeah, you, have, you do have to aim down a little bit so that way you can get your initial jump ups. Once you get up to the jump ups, if you if you aim directly in front of you, it should be okay. Yeah, I'll just come back down. So let's see. Enemy light assault in the area. Who's doing all these terrible OSs at series? Well, I can't get up there a second time, but if you're able to get get up there, um, you know, somewhat that's better for solo play, but it can be used if you. If you're in a squad that wants to utilize somebody like a scout or something to get a bird's eye view, this is a good place to to get that bird's eye view from. If you know how to get up there. So. Next thing we're gonna do here while we're here is we're gonna go over to the main building to our uh, north. Get at him. Nice. So that's this vehicle shield. This was shown, um, I don't remember which training. I like you. <laughs> one of our previous trainings. Uh, Helena showed you how to get over to, so when this is an enemy base, that wall, that shield, you can't go through. And sometimes you're forced to go all the way around to the, to the meat grinders section for entry. If you have a squad that, is, that can do this, it's very simple. Basically, you get, the first thing you do is from ground level, you get onto the platform where Balbo is. Balbo, just jump real quick. Just jump up and down. He's a okay. Uh, okay, so Tor Guardian. Where Tor Guardian is, you have to first get onto this platform. Once you're on this platform, thanks, Tor. Um, you want to go ahead and this little, this wedge thing, what uh, what Hydro is shooting at, what, what Ultimate Muffin Man is jumping on, that's the wedge you want to jump from. That's your launch spot. Once you launch from there, you'll be able to land onto this middle section. Suspire. Oh, sorry. I'm MC. You once idiot. you're on that middle section, ride it all the way up. And once you get to the very top, get onto the uh, very center of it. So that way you have a little bit more altitude. Once you're on that section, then you just have to do a, a run, jump, jump. And you'll be able to get up to the, the middle section and over the wall. So the people that usually have problems is get, just getting up to the, uh, to the first level where Balbo is still. And the secret to that is just go past it and jump jump on it from the back side, from the, from the side and not from the front. And then the only other jump involved is uh, this one at the wedge. And that one you just have to, be, you have to be, just practice a little bit. And then just double, double jump and get over. I saw the VS side. Oh, 
Nice. Good shooting, everyone. Oh, well. I've proven that I could do it before. I'm not going to waste my time doing it now. Anyway, so this was shown in the previous training. Wanted to bring it up to you guys and just kind of refresh your memories that this is something else that you can do at the tech plant. Let's load up. Just give me a moment while I scroll down. Next, we're going to a bio lab. So Briggs put us in quiet. bio lab. Briggs is quiet? Okay, ooh, we can hit Briggs first. It's diamonds. Weapons are green. Weapons are green. Got him. All right, awesome. Right, diamonds. Nice. <laughs> So again, this is not in my training, but real quick, we're going to show you because it's available. Let's drop out on the outside. Drop, drop, drop. Okay, so this is the wall that if you're caught on the north side, you have to get around. Going around the right side, you're just going to get you shot from the spawn room and from the people that are trying to defend the base because you're probably attacking. And if you go left, it's a long, long way around. Best way to do this is just a billy goat over the wall. And like I mentioned earlier, some surfaces in the Planet Side 2 game, and it's not uniformed anywhere along the map, some surfaces allow you to Billy Goat off of them, which is why you'll sometimes find people that get into Billy Goatable positions. They're like, whoa, how'd you get up there? Because you never tried that particular surface at this particular location. So sometimes that people that are really good at Billy Goating, they may not know about this wall. Most of them do, but... If you if you didn't know that before, now you know how you can get in the space a little bit quicker, easier. So again, uh, this uh, this wall and uh, there are some surfaces like on a triple stack or on an on an L shape that you could do this as well. Let's Definitely back change up. if you sorry go ahead. If you take a forty if you take a forty five degree angle to the surface, right? You maintain your momentum, and that's what helps you get. If you go straight at it, you don't get anywhere. <laughs> After this, we'll, we'll go to the series. So we'll start off at this rock right here. So once you come in off the pad, um, if you're attacking, um, you probably want to get to the points. If you're reinforcing, you probably just want to get into a good position so that you're mobile enough to, to move I around. This first rock that we come across is, as you can see, the rest of the squad is already well well versed in this one. So yeah, basically you can just Billy Goat up the rock. It'll get you to the roof of the building and it can also get you to another rock formation that's off to your left. Now, if you, now, I'll give you guys just, I'll go back there and make sure everybody got up. Did everyone already get up or no, we're still waiting for a dot? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I've been up there before. Okay. So basically once you're up here, if you want to go on top of the eight point building, it's really accessible. You can just jump out of the building and then jump on the balcony and get inside. That's not a big, big whoop. But if you take this rock formation on top and head over to your, uh, to your Southeast, You'll be able to make this jump from your uh, from this uh, plateau of rock over to the roof of the crescent building, and that's the way I'm going to show you real quick. So that's one way you can get onto this crescent building. If you look back to where we jumped from, you'll notice that there's this big ass rock right here in the middle. 
you can actually get onto this second plateau over here, but you have to do that from the other side. And the other side has a rock that's very similar to the rock that we just started on, but it, you take it up to uh, this uh, this backside formation. It's a little bit longer, but it still gives you same, same access point to the uh, roof of this building, the Crescent Building. And once you're here, if you turn around, just walk on the little walkways over here, you'll be able to get over to the powerhouse roof. Once you're on the powerhouse roof, you, you have a lot of access and a lot of mobility. You can keep an eye on the spawn in the north. Or sorry, that's the south. Now keep an eye on the spawn in the south. You can keep an eye on the A point approach um, on the eastern side uh, if you're looking northbound, northwest. Uh, and obviously, you can get back to the Crescent Building. And then you can also get to where Belhade is, and then you can make that continuous jump, just like you would at a tower. Um, you could possibly get up to that middle section. I've only gotten it ever as candy as light assault, which doesn't make it as as appealing. But I know you can get up to that middle section um, without being a light assault. But I just haven't been able to do it in I don't know when how long. But anyway, even if you just get to the roof right here, it still provides great great access and great shooting lanes uh, for you and your squad. You keep an eye on C uh, C point from above. You're on top of Bravo buildings and the generator here in. You keep an eye on the SCU. You keep an eye on the spawn, uh, two different spawn exits, basically. And you have mobility to get back onto the Crescent building to pivot to the spawn room that's in the north. So this is a really prime position if you can get your squad up here. If, you, if you're if you an excess squad and don't have to guard the point dead on just because of just sheer numbers or whatever. It just provides another good position inside the the bio lab everyone got that part any questions about this part nope okay now i'm a little just disorientated give me one second i need to get back onto ground level before we leave i have one more way up to the powerhouse if you'd like me to show it Give me one second. I'm still, um, here it is. Yep. It's right over here. Okay. So if you, if everybody comes back over, comes down and over to Hydro, once you're running around the outside, sometimes you can make your way up to the, the Crescent building by way of the balcony, by way of some, by way of some rocks. Before you come up to that, you can just make your way up this, uh, tree plant and make your way up to the roof. And I could almost get it. There we go. There we go. So, and this gives you a little bit of maneuverability. From here, you can't really um, make your way into the Crescent Building directly, but you can make your way onto the bridge, which gives you access to both Powerhouse and the Crescent Building. So maybe you do a flank, and instead of making all your, going all the way around on the outside and breaching in through the second floor balcony at the Crescent Building, maybe you take your squad up the tree and bounce them onto the to the bridge, take the bridgeway into the Crescent Building, and take the enemy by surprise from behind. So that just gives you a little bit more flexibility. And some people can do it, some people can't. Um, hopefully uh, people can, can work on that during their own time. And like I said, different objects at different locations. Why it works on that specific tree Where's and not dog? this one Someone over here at the end, up. I can't answer. But um, just different surfaces in different Would locations. Use some here. Medic. Can somebody get that? He's dead at the tree. Somehow I died at the top of the tree. You might have to Billy Goat up. You. It's a test. Could you He killed here. me. He's got a strong KD. <laughs> All right, so I showed you the rock next to the spawn room. I showed you a rock next to the building next to the spawn room. Okay, one second. I'm trying to move my way down this document. I'm showing you the palm tree right now. SCU rock. I've already shown you that. Oh, oh I see. What, see, that's what Helena just did. Yep, yep. Yep, seen that done in videos. All right, so... Um, I'm about to take us out of uh, this here. environment, but Helena, you said you had a location? It just builds up, um, upon 
what you were doing there, if you get over to the walkway, either through there or through some other way, the bridge is right here. There's a surface that gets you on top of the powerhouse roof, which can be useful in biolabs. It's oh yeah. I'm putting my I'm putting the the bullet holes on the surface you need to actually check your fire. Get onto I'm MC. Absorb the bullets. <laughs> but if you spam jump up and so onto the flat surface where muffin is, that will get you up. If you go around the corner and just be careful, you can get up onto the roof. It's very difficult from the ground for some reason. Uh, I would say take a halfway checkpoint on the bridge, and that's the easiest way up. Cool. I will definitely work on that in my own time. That that provides a little bit more maneuverability, too. I'm sure there are, and I know I've done a couple Billy Goats, but I didn't prepare that in the training. So it would be purely from memory, and I don't honestly remember where I Billy Goated. I know that I've done it in the past. But if you have any place suggestible, um, I will definitely uh, yield. Once we get done with this last uh, jump, then uh, yeah, you can have a spot and show us a spot. And we still have to check series as well. So we're gonna drop on the road on the exterior. Yeah, inside. Yep. Go ahead, drop, drop, drop. And if you get all the way down to the uh, to the ground I level, you. where you drive. Okay, so this is uh, the last one that I have in my bag of tricks, I guess you could call this. And this is the column on the on the crescent building that you could definitely uh, Billy Goat up your way up and jump over to the bridge. This is just a back a quicker way. If you don't want to run around the building, you could always just Billy Goat up this column. And then once you get up above it, then you'd be able to jump off, off of it onto the bridge. It looks like if you start from the inside next to the bridge and you just jump as far as you can, once you hit the geometry, it bounces you onto the bridge. It feels like I'm hitting my head on something. And yeah, the wall kind do, of does shut out a little bit, so you might be feeling something that is real, but uh, you should be able to still make that jump. And again, this isn't uh, like an easy win or anything, but if you're doing a little bit of solo play or non-TG play, you might want to increase your KD just a little bit more. You might want to be a little bit more greedy. This might provide an access to either one of the buildings, Crescent Building or the Powerhouse, where you might be able to get a drop on somebody. And if you have a whole squad of people, maybe the squad could get in that way and whatnot. If the other traditional ways are a little bit more uh, heavily defended or whatnot. But you do have to spend a lot of time here and you do have to secure the area. So some of these, a lot of these things that I've been showing you are great for on the fly stuff. But if you try to plan it out and get wait for 12 people to get up a wall, it might, you might be here 30 seconds. And that's 30 seconds that you have to plan for full engagement from all areas and plan for it. So it could be a little difficult. I have a request for next, since we're close. I owe you. All right, I just want to see if, I want to check on Ceres real quick. Ceres is pretty quiet. So let's, you're talking about the wall that's on the outside of Squadway? Oh no, you're talking about and the southern wall. You're talking about the Squadway both. wall. Both, but the Squadway wall is more important, but they did add boxes to make it doable without, but. Yeah, there, it's it's uh, Billy Goatable just the as the one it breaks was. In the area. Cool. Alright, so if you got everything that you can out of this uh, crescent-shaped column, 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and load back up. The galaxy is to the north. I just haven't had time to look for it, but I'm sure there is one. Anyway, so last one that we have in, the, in our bag um, is not the last one. It's going to be this one, Series uh, Hydroponics, the wall on the outside on the south side. I'm oh, sorry, on Series. Did I say a Series Hydroponics? Yeah, Series Hydroponics. Whatever. And let's get ready to drop. Drop, drop, drop. So this wall on the south side, yeah, there are some boxes here. Yeah, they yeah, added these after they, Billy yeah, got they, it. Yeah, they added those. Used to be a Billy Goatable only, but but you can still Billy Goat from the opposite side where you're not expected, and the inside wall, which is actually more useful. So you're not going through the main gate, and you have cover from these trees. Also, I think the front wall from spawn, if you're defending and approaching from spawn, you don't have to take the defended stairs. You can Billy Goat over the side. All the walls here are Billy Goatable. It's a very fun base. You can even use the walls to offensively billy goat to hit their spawn and then billy goat back over into safety. Oh, we're capping. Okay. Maybe this central wall where Dot is is the only not billy goat I think there's, there's a depression here, that's why. But right here you can't. Yeah, if there's a depression along the line. I think they took it out to keep... How about where boil down is here? You can just do it here. Pop yeah. over. You want to do this one? I couldn't do this one. I can't do that one either from the other side. If I move down two, two walls, I can get up though. Extra large block and the one on the south bowl and the bowl bowl and the one on the south side has a extra large block and the one on the south bowl and the bowl bowl and the one on the south side has a extra large block and the one on the south bowl and the bowl bowl and the one on the south side has a extra large block and the one on the south bowl and the bowl bowl and the one on the south side has a extra large block and the one on the south bowl and the bowl bowl and the one on the south side has a extra large block and the one on the south bowl and the bowl bowl and the one on the south side has a Yeah, I'll throw down the beacon. Okay, thank you. Yep, yeah, now let's go to stay and fight this. Kind of just for, for just a little break up real quick. Coming, Bell, how you coming? Need out here. No, I'm dead. All right, let's uh, go ahead and take the uh, hard spawn back at the warp gate. Does anyone have any other Billy Goat uh, locations that they want to share with the rest of the squad? Okay, boy, where are we going? There you go. I passed squad lead over to you. All right, you have squad lead. Go ahead and put down your waypoint. And can someone get us a, a galaxy or something? Cool, thanks. Awesome, cool. Squad way. Oh, the main the main approach. I thought there was another. Okay. I thought that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we're just not going to be able to cover everybody's uh, spot, but uh, so this is a good spot because it is very, we attack it very often. Cool, just make your way there and we'll be there as quick as we can to fly there. Um, yes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh my god, Muffin! <laughs> look, at this, look at what we roll I'm up sorry, on! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Chop, chop, chop! Thanks, Belly! <laughs> I can't blow it up, too. Did they change? Blockade? Yeah, we can blow it up. I mean, it's just yeah. hard. We tried the ammo trick first. Yeah, we pop a thing underneath, or a spitfire so I, underneath it. I, I pop it up. know if anyone, like, if this wall actually blow it goatable, first of all. And then I'll tell you the alternative. Ammunition here. I always use. It is not to me. The only way I get over that wall is by assistance from the rock jump. Yeah, so the thing everyone should know, probably do, is that prepares. this corner, if you jump on it from high ground, you can just jump right onto that pillar that I missed and jump up. But just like that. This rock is also very easy to get on from. Where's where's Bobo? Oh, I see. Oh yeah, that's, that would work too. All right, this, I just think this base is important to point out and have in the training just because it is so commonly used. True, very and true. The other ones, I mean, other than jumping into towers, I don't think it, they've really come up for me. But this one is like, whenever, or, you know, 50% of the fights here, we might use this. I would pass you squadly, but uh, Coil has it. Okay, we need a galaxy, and that is over to our east side. And the pilot can take off whenever they feel like they're good. Main level of bridge. I did not make the bridge. You go die. Uh, we got a beacon. That's on cooldown. <laughs> Beacon's live. All right, so the arm, as you make your way up here. Arms are Billy Goatable, but you have to look for what's over your head, and find the spots with the gaps. And again, like I said, I'm trying to figure this out again after doing it. Get up these. Yeah, some of them are better than others. Once we remember which ones are the good ones. I got one over two. So those. Helena's got, yeah, Helena's got the ideal one without the extra bit of cover. Where? I owe you. Uh, to the east side of the bridge. So the best spots, apparently, are the ones without the extra central cover. Most bridges have little spots like that. But also some bridges with the extra bit of cover, there are little nooks that you can squeeze through. As far as I found, almost every bridge has a way up top. Very useful. Thank you for sharing. That's a good one, yeah. I greatly appreciate that, actually. Personally. This will definitely add to my key. There's, there's some very common bridges that you find yourself fighting on, and then just practicing with those and figuring out the best spots to get up on them. It shouldn't take you more than a few minutes. And then you just got to remember that each bridge is uh, best jump. All right, so that's pretty much the it for my training. Um, bridge on a point of crown. Yeah, that's another good bridge that we could possibly. Uh, I don't know if we can do that right now. Crown should be pretty quiet. 
Yeah, let's load up the galaxy. Let's go to Eastwick. Go over to Squad Lead. Squad, wait. And so this will be our last bridge, but since we already did it, um, Q and A time. Any questions? Any insights? Any anything that you feel that needs to be repeated or? Very informative. Thank you. If NSOs are clippable, can we jump on top of robots? <laughs> like if they crouched out? I don't know. I know you collide with them, but I don't know all the details. Visual on if you collide with them, can you put C4 on there? ID on an enemy Sandra. Got a visual on them. Run in like suicide bombers. No, now that we're never mind. Visual on a hostile vehicle. Alright, we are I have here. a visual on enemy liberator. I was going to add the thing that, that I think is common between several of these trainings so far is just knowing I about the movement that. speed fatigue and how to re recover from that and give yourself time. And FPS is key to some of the more technical moves. Yes, I suffer from that. My FPS is never the greatest, so a lot of this isn't doable for me. So the point on A point that I like to go up is on the northwestern corner of the bridge. Where if you jump off of the edge of the little valley over here on the north, you can run up and then jump onto the corner of the roof. Uh, I, sp I spent an awful lot of time up here as a sniper. I love this spot. On an enemy sunder. Enemy sunder spotted. Enemy transport spotted. Enemy transport vehicle in the area. Very cool. Anybody else got anything else to add to this training? Billy Goat locations or questions about doing it and understanding the behind it, everything. Okay. That's it for me. Um, let's go ahead and. Um, well, does anyone feel like leaving the spot? Got extra I can repair that. I'll probably gonna just watch a movie or something tonight. Yeah, thank you, Hydro. Thank you. Right. Thanks, Hydro. Yeah, thanks, Hydro, for training. You're welcome, and thanks everyone for coming out.